Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and I uh, hope you're having a good day. So let's continue playing as the United Kingdom for now, in which we are slowly, slowly trying to become <clears throat> much more supportive of the trade union construction workers and their unions. So, right now it is quite a bit ahead of time where we left off. It's still 1936, but it is October. I think I left you guys in September. But that's mostly because I have greatly shifted around my navies. Alright, I'm going to break it all down. So, obviously, I have subs up here. And I'm trying to get all my subs together first. That being said, let's go ahead and change these to that. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I was messing around with some of the carriers. So, I'm trying to make... Oh, God. That's a lot of things we, I want to make or try to repair. Um, let's do that so that soap still gets repaired. Anyways, I'm trying to make a carrier... A good carrier, level 2 carrier which will suffice for the rest of the entire game because honestly level 4 carriers are worthless and by the time you're at level 3 carriers they are pretty much not needed. So level 2 carriers are very very important. Uh, that being said, let's show you what I got on here. I've got, uh, let's see, hanger, 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 I don't have any armor and there's a reason for that. I have level 2 anti-air, there's no radar yet. There's a level 2 engine and a level 1 secondary battery. Why don't I have level 2? Well, actually, before I explain that, I did have to use console commands because I made a mistake with XP. Because I didn't realize this. But if you look down here, production costs. I'm just shy of the 9,500 uh, weight ton limit, which is from the London Naval Treaty. Which I really freaking hate. But, so that's why I had to make this carrier the way it is once the London Naval Treaty is over and done with I will add in radar better engines better secondary batteries and the like thereof but regardless 60 deck size for this carrier is pretty good hopefully your carrier won't ever get hit or anything so there's that um, so that's why I just kind of I'm not gonna lie I did use console commands for 5 XP but uh yeah other than that uh, like I said we have our navies here we have different theaters but really not really different theaters. I mean, I'm just trying to get all my subs into one group, and then I'll regroup my subs from there. Uh, I have a British Strike Force. This is probably the best ships in the entire fleet. And eventually I will change the HMS Courageous, maybe the Courageous, into uh, the Pride of the Fleet. Actually, Task Force 1. I want to send you to Task Force 1. That'll be good. There we go. There we go. So it's made up of one carrier, only one carrier for now, because this strike force will eventually have four of the best and most modern carriers in the fleet. I have three regular battleships, a battle cruiser, so we can be fairly quick on the seas. Let's see, I have 12 light cruisers and 26 destroyers. This is because I really want enough light cruisers, which I'll change up with as we get more naval XP, of course, to make sure that they have enough anti-air on them, even though they need more anti-air right now. Yeah. As well as destroyers help detect any enemy subs. Let's see. Uh, can I? I uh, did I upgrade you too? Uh, no. Yeah, might as well since I'm not really doing anything with these guys. That being said, I have converted. This is literally all the ships we have, by the way. I have my first patrol fleet made up of different carriers, battleships, cruisers, like and destroyers. Out of ten, there's ten of these in total. Well, there really should be ten, but. This will be a very good fleet to help patrol the areas around our island, our United Kingdom. And then I have another patrol fleet which I will be using and probably trying to expand more and more as time goes on. That might help us patrol areas that we may need to invade someday. So just let, I'll let you know what's going on. Let's see, what is this? Green water expert, shallow sea movement. Yeah, sure, why not? John Cunningham. Uh, British Patrols 1 is led by James Fowles Sum, who is very good at his <clears throat> admiral job. Uh, the Strike Force will need probably one of the best ever positioning, better positioning, better blockade runner while retreating. Retreat decision chance. Leader experience gain plus 10%. More naval speed and damage. And then Ironside experience factor. That's pretty good. Air controller factor actually is pretty good. Experience factor. But that doesn't actually give you any benefits except give you more... It, naval air XP. Large number of ships in first contact. Retreat decision. Actually, I kind of like this because we have so many ships. 
number of ships on first contact is actually very, very useful. Uh, positioning. Oh, positioning and the number of first ships in the first contact. Actually, as much as I love this for naval speed and damage, you want as much positioning as possible as well as number of ships in the first contact. So I'm going to go with John Tovey. Should have chosen Andrew Cunningham if I didn't realize what was going on, but regardless, right now I'm trying to stockpile more oil. So I will send ships out to repair and get some more naval XP. Oh my gosh, look at all this crap. Can I did I upgrade my ships or something or actually, let's go back here first. Infantry just yeah, go there if you need to. Um set you to low, set you to be grouped with him and then I should have done it anyways. Ooh, oh. Enough political power for another advisor, but we're probably going to save it for the construction union stuff. Uh, political power gain plus 5%. That isn't very much. War industrialists will be very useful in the future. Uh, da -da -da. This is interesting. Red suffragette. More population, but less stability. Economic reformer. Hmm, the non aligned the King's Party. Oswald Mosley. Wait. What? The King's Party. Hmm. I have not looked into the focus tree that much then. I would love the old figure, but it would be King's Party as well. And that's pretty much it. Alright. Oh, wait. What was that? Yeah. Improved relations. Pretty useless to me, at least. Uh, let's see. Actually, I would love more Doctrine speed as well as Army XP. That could be extremely useful, but... Oh, whatever. And, of course, I'm going to ignore this. This doesn't really matter to me. Uh... Hmm... Since we're going communist anyways, I have plans for them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see, I have to do this eventually. Trade unions demand minister appointment, and if I do this, we'll get we'll be able to improve relations with Edward Seaton. Uh, and we get five, five more percent popularity. Mm, more weekly war support could be nice, but it only affects our surrender limit, mobilization speed, and daily command power gain, which... <clears throat> we can pretty much ignore it at the moment. Dockyard output, factory output. Another military factory. Well, let's do this first. We're definitely going to do this. I'm going to give it a couple days first before I do anything. And then I want to build up a little more political power first. Because as you become more communist, you you will lose the amount of political power you gain every day. So, I'm going to go ahead and wait a little bit. And then maybe support another factory. Because right now we have a boon. A real big boom to... Uh, Construction, which is great. I love more, more, more construction. Ah, uh, support of trade union construction workers. So good. Shadow scheme. Awesome. So we'll get four more military factories when we go to war. Ooh, Victor's MG and Stokes Mortar and better tanks. All right, guide the colonies. Hmm. We could wait for this. And, we, of course, we still can't do any of this stuff over here. Yeah, that's pretty much all the tree. I mean, I don't want my colonies to leave, but this does give you extra political power when you do this. Oh, let, oh wow. Minus 15% stability, but more manpower. Huh. I want to hold on to my factories as long as I can, so I'm trying to... I'm, I'll go ahead and try to get the extra research slot. Let's go down here. Good. Tanks. Vickers. Good. Research. Double research. 1936 still. Um, extraction could be good. We probably will have to build some th synthetic refineries eventually. Let's get one of those going. And then, oh, air doctrine, we're completely lax on fighters. Honestly, I'm probably going to ignore fighters for a bunch. Since, like, the last game, I'm probably going to really focus on the Blenheim. Blenheim. Uh, heavy fighters, but, uh, I don't know how uh, we're doing that anyways. We got better armor. We got we can't do this stuff. The Crusader sounds like an awesome tank. That really does. Ah, uh, let's go with the Blenheim. Screw it. All right, I think we've almost waited long enough. Uh, we still get 1.76 political power a day. That's not bad. I want to wait at 200. Let's do it at 200. That me that might be kind of fun. Oh, but then we could do one of these instead. Oh, but I have to have 100 political power for this. But we have 107 days, so. Um, naval XP is hard to get, and naval XP is ex so, so useful, so needed at this point in the meta, in my opinion, that it might be more worthwhile than grinding out army XP, but we're already doing army experience. Uh, that's hard to choose, that's really hard to choose. 150, I've not eliminated the upper class just yet, which we, I will eventually, just saying guys. Uh... 
I could spend the political power now. Will I gain enough in the future? Probably. All right. I want more army XP. And it help with our research doctrines. So really, it's it's only a benefit to us. And then next, we will definitely have to do a point trade union ministers. Actually, how's this going? It looks like the Dutch really wants to be with them. Well, if we do this, it only hurts us by 10, right? Stability, plus 8%. Stanley Baldwin, plus 5%. Uh, well, maybe that was, a, that was probably a bit of a waste, but whatever. It's only 10. Political power. How is the rest of the the world doing? Since we are doing unaligned, they have... Italy has docking rights to Italy. Oh, no. Spain has docking rights to Italy. And... Has Spain from them. And it looks like the nationalists are winning. Now, someone did say in the comments a couple days ago... Oh, before we go on. Uh, looks like we got quite a bit of stockpile of fuel. Alright. Um, select... I don't mind if you guys all repair. Can I actually make you better? I might be able to make... Oh! Sub... Oh, yeah, get that sub... Oh, I need... Oh, frick, dang it. Just go ahead and train for now. We'll get more naval XP, and that will greatly reduce our fuel supplies. Um, comments yesterday. Someone said for me to ally, or at least go... Or be working with the Soviets. That is really my goal, to work with the Soviet Union. I think they could be a really great... Not addition, but a great potential non-aggressive, aggressive ally. Why am I saying that? Just because, as the title of this video states, and the title of this entire campaign, this is communism with British characteristics. That means that we may, we may not be tankies, if you know what that means, from the 1950s and 60s. But regardless... Their type of communism ultimately is not a good type of communism. We we don't like their type of communism. Our co our type of communism is the best because it's British, of course. Uh, but we, we do admire their use of communism in their own society, of course. So, if anything, we will gladly ally with the Soviets over the Germans. I'll put it like that. 1937, happy 1937, everyone. Uh, I want mm, construction or output. Oh, 120%. What is this? Research bonus because of the Commonwealth research bonus. Nice. Uh, let's go with construction just because I love building things as fast as possible. Oh, and we can build more stuff now. Radar will come in handy, but we can't expand that. Silos will be great, but that eats up a lot of places here. I don't really plan on going to war with the Germans too soon, honestly. I'm probably going to sit out World War... The Second Great War, perhaps? For a while, at least. But build up some fuel silos, because these will give you much more capacity. And another civilian factory. Do it there. Do it there. Eight, wherever we have, like, 80%. Ah, Scotland. You really don't have good infrastructure, do you? Uh, oh, but we do have better this. Let's see, actually. Go ahead. A lot of these ships are kind of outdated. Oh, oh we did have the 1936 heavy ship hull Mark One. Which we cannot make because it's way too heavy to make. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe try to upgrade our destroyers a wee bit. Let's see. Nope, I can't. And then... No, I... Oh my gosh. These are such garbage. I will add this on there. But, oh my goodness. Early cruiser. Um... I'm not sure why these are on here. Sometimes, I think if I ever play as a Soviet, or just any country that doesn't really focus on their navy but starts with one, I'll probably just trash the entire navy. Just because ugh, it's so annoying looking at all this and you just want to make it better, but you can't. This is... What is this? What am I looking at? Early heavy ship hull. This is a battleship or a battle cruiser. Ah, oh, this is a battle cruiser because of the armor. Level 2 battle cruiser armor. I've heard that battle cruisers actually aren't really that great, to be honest with you. Um, we can still get this. Uh, this will make us almost too heavy. Let's do that. Cool. Uh, convoys are on one. That's good. We still will d need to do more repairs, but that's fine. Early cruiser. Oh, we're repairing that. That's okay. That's definitely okay. Uh, no longer gets the effects of changing course. We do lose a little bit of political power. And communist support every day. That is not good. Oh, we actually have a few extra factories here, huh? 
So for this, I think we we're trying to repair this, which is fine. Uh, we will need to improve all existing ships, but I think it's very important to make more ships at the moment as well. Oh, look at this crap. Uh, early, two different types of early cruiser hulls, and they're, are these, I can't tell. Is this is heavy cruiser or light cruiser? These must be heavy cruisers, and this must be a light cruiser, but this weighs more. Uh, level one stuff. I hate level one stuff so much. If we were to make something, I'm already making carrier hulls. I can't make any battleships because they're too heavy. Mm, I don't have the XP I want to do this. Let's make some destroyers since destroyers will be extremely needed for um, convoy escorting. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you to go to Greater London area. That'll be good. That'll be very good, actually. Yeah, whatever about that. Uh, yeah, I am kind of ignoring my navy, but my goal is really not to get into too many engagements with an enemy. And if we do, we will piecemeal them. I'll show you what I mean by that when we do go to war with Ireland. I, I'm just going to spoil it for you right now. I will go to war with the Irish, and you'll see exactly why. Uh, let's see. I want more people building, getting more oil. Uh, destroyers... I could do this, but they're just upgrades I want to do that. Oh, God, this paint is so painful to look at. Medium battery. This is a heavy cruiser battery. Um, I really want them to do anti-air, and you don't have enough anti-air on you already. And that, that literally eats up all your naval XP. Oh, I feel so limited doing this. I feel so limited. Uh, actually. Hmm. I'm doing destroyers. For convoy escorts. I could do them for the same thing. Hmm. You know, I'm going to separate them for now. I can always tell them when to not separate. Uh, let's, let's go back to our subs real quick. Subs, what are you doing? Are all of you... Well, maybe not all of you, but a lot of you should have some sort of upgrades. Four days at complete. That's fine. Put you at the bottom. Yeah, and that. yeah with the new naval matter, it just you have to be... A lot more careful with how you apply things because you can just tell people to repair but they're not going to repair seeing as they're not they haven't been damaged but they need dockyards to upgrade which I think really sucks oh we no longer get the support of trade unions oh god dang it oh but we can still do this so it'll cost quite a bit but I need that that bonus this bonus is really good holy crap plus 15% is better than 10% in my opinion and it doesn't give us an overall bonus, especially when we have early mobilization on instead of like war economy or something like that. Uh, I do want a little bit more oil because I want to train more people. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, give me everything you got, Malaysia. Oh, I don't even have to give him another factory. Awesome. With that in mind, let's go ahead and train some more people then. Second submarine flotilla. Uh, actually, I want to train. Let's see. This fleet is already. Okay, right, go ahead and split off if you need to. Uh, you guys will kill all of whatever I have here. Go ahead and upgrade if you need to as well. Um, yeah, you do that as well. As well as you. Alright, and everyone will do that. Suck to you. Train as well. I don't mind reducing the amount of fuel I have right now because we need to grind out a bunch of naval XP. Bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Also, I had another comment say I should play as Transamur in Kaiserreich. Well, I didn't choose Kaiserreich this time just because the game hasn't been updated with the latest naval meta doctrine or, you know, the latest naval meta. Ooh, six factories here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so good. Uh, we can guide the colonies. Actually, that'll give them more stability. Uh, and give us more political power. Um, I didn't do that because actually that's extremely hard to do. <laughs> Playing as Transamur is not easy. I have tried it once and I got pretty much destroyed by Russia. Uh, I will look into it though. I will definitely look into it. And I guess it will kind of depend on when Kaiserreich does get updated. Since it does get updated like once every couple months. Or once every four months. I will look into it, see if I can do anything. I might have to ally or continue being allied with the Japanese. I don't know. We'll see what happens if I actually play that. So, should be an interesting playthrough if I do actually do it. 
All right, with that in mind, we got these th main three done. Let's go to planes, because I will need better carrier planes. Let's see, for this, safety legislation, which will reduce... Oop, there's my water bottle. Will reduce construction speeds. Uh, but it will also help us with all the other stuff. And honestly, this isn't too bad. It's only for a year, and that's kind of negated by this, uh, this one. This one we've already chosen, so let's choose that for now since we want to become communist as soon as possible. We're currently 30% of the way towards that, but we have no bonus. Hmm. Let's see, is there any other way for us to become more communist quicker? Oh, Mexico Junta declared war on Mexico. Good for Mexico. Uh, I need, like, daily communist, you know, change. Because this won't give it to me. I mean, the only thing that will actually make you more communist is this. Yeah. Change the popularity of communists. Unlocks the next trade union demand. Hold referendum. Hmm. Oh, no. The Hindenburg disaster for the poor Germans. Oh, no. Who cares, though? But they're, they're freaking, you know, com they're fascists. We don't like fascists. No one likes fascists. Maybe Not even the fascists like fascists. Yeah, I've kind of given up on this thing. Uh, but the Dutch are definitely trying to help me because my number keeps going up. So they definitely want me to help them out. Even though I'm going communist. So <laughs> the Dutch are between the fascists on their right or in the east. And then the f future communists in the west. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, let's see. Oh, delay doctrine. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Elastic defense. Yeah, we can have to bite the bullet and just do this as fast as possible. Um, with this, I want another military factory, don't I? Uh, yeah, I definitely do. Definitely, definitely, definitely do. Uh, actually, I could change up this right now and make my guys suffer. Let's make them suffer for now. Recon companies are extremely important, in my opinion. Well, not extremely important, but very important. Uh, but, weekly war support would be nice. I want another factory. And then we're definitely able to do this next. Yeah, I need 150 political power to do that. We still get one and a half political power a day, so that's pretty good. Guide the colonies, and we'll get some political power from that anyway, so not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Very good. Towards Dominion Independence, we get 100 more political power and a lot more manpower, but then my Dominions will get more daily autonomy progress and withdraw from contested territories. I don't want to do this one yet. It gives us 25,000 manpower, but we will lose Northern... Ireland, we will lose Gibraltar, we will lose the Falkland Islands, uh, Labrador, Newfoundland, Hong Kong, and Yemen. And I really don't want to do that. As much as I want political power, I really do not want that. Hmm. I want stuff that gives me, makes me more communist. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the military factories first so we can just produce some more stuff. So, let's go with that. I am losing fuel like quite a quite quickly. Uh, oh, Stanley, uh oh, Stanley Baldwin, Baldwin resigns. Two weeks after the coronation of King George VI, Mr. Baldwin has announced that he will resign the premiership in order to retire at the age of 70. Having led the national government on and off since 1923, he has been the steady hand responsible for bringing the British Empire out of the Great Depression and in recent years has reluctantly overseen the beginning of imperial rearmament and abdication of the King Edward VIII. He stepped down as a popular and successful prime minister, but has he done enough to counter the growing threat of Germany and homegrown communism? Ah, here's our guy. Minus 5% war support, but plus 5% factory output. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. I, I, need, I need this. I need this. I need this so bad. Oh, uh, look at all these ships here. These are all for my task force. Man, they're refitting. Cool. Uh, how is this going? Go ahead and repair. Oh, concentrated industry. Very cool. 1937 stuff. Construction. Uh, no, we can't do that. We're doing that, which is good. Bow fighter, huh? Tactical bomber. Ooh. Uh, naval stuff. I don't have enough naval XP to really do very much. I will wait for more naval XP to actually start unlocking some more of this stuff here. Especially destroyer stuff. Um, naval doctrine itself takes forever to do. And my cat, Binky, is behind me making weird noises. Um, hmm. 
58 days. Actually, that's not too bad. 58 days, even without any research bonuses. Pretty good, in my opinion. And let's keep on speeding through this. Oh, can we help support more of the Dutch? Oh, we can. 45 against 55. All right. Improve working conditions. Gift refuge to German scientists. Might be good, because you... Let's see. German Reich current party is democratic. Will be instantly removed if all the following is true. West Germany or East Germany exists. So even if you're communists, you can give refuge to Italian scientists. Oh. I wonder if that actually happened in the Soviet Union, not Germany. Because we know that happened. It's in the game. So that obviously must have happened before. But in real life, like when the Russian Revolution happened and the communists took over in power, did any scientists or any famous people come from that, from, you know, Russia and whatnot? Or, you know, Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, you know, all those different states that we have here? That would be actually very interesting to know. Research speed, better research speed, better research speed. Um, I could do anti-fascist raids that will help stability, lower my stability initially. Uh, it's 14%, 11%, I could reduce the popularity of fascism and ultimately help out my stability, but I need to really amend the legislation. Oh, Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe, improved machine tools, 1937 stuff, 37 stuff, armor. We're doing that, that's good. Naval stuff, we're getting closer and closer to being able to research stuff there. That's not too bad. Let's get some tactical bombers because we will need them. And after this, this will lower demands for everything else. Let's do that. Amend the legislation. We want to become communist as fast as possible. So, we're just kind of waiting. And now we can. Cool. Now we are 36% towards communist. Oh, this is actually good. Enact mandatory union days. And, oh, oh. Okay, so Little Entente reaffirmed. Czechoslovakia has announced today that almost the that the almost defunct Little Entente alliance system will stand by their commitments. A statement released by the Foreign Office announced, Czechoslovakia is not a great power, but it is a regional power. It is our firm belief that an alliance of regional powers can and will prevent the so-called great powers from meddling in our affairs. I don't know where that accent came from, but fascinating developments regardless. So, uh, let's see, before I talk about Czechoslovakia, enact mandatory union days, so we'll get a little bit more percentage of communist support. We will lose 15% political power, we will lose weekly stability by 0.2, but we'll get daily communist support by 0 0.02 for an entire year. Interesting. Fascinating. So let's get, let's get, let time keep going on as I do watch my oil. So it looks like the Czechoslovaks, the Czechs and the Slovaks have allied with the Yugoslavians, which we have made sure that um that they that the Yugoslavians went democratic now we wanted Romania to go democratic as well but they're currently not uh, let's see oh, da, 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 consumer goods da, da, da. all right oh we actually have un uh this is not a uh, division I wanted uh British Malaya I know you want to be liberated from you know my beautiful grasp and whatnot but uh yeah whatever Let's see, yeah, we definitely have to have someone stop training in the water. Let's see, let's get over here, let's get over here. Are you guys done yet? Oh, you guys are all done, yeah, stop training. Stop killing all my oil reserves. They're pretty, pretty well experienced. But that is still sucking up a lot of oil. Um, you guys are actually pretty good as well. So, so go ahead and stop training. Come down here, go ahead and repair. And I'm going to tell a lot of you guys probably to build yourselves up and upgrade yourselves. Let's give it maybe, uh, let me not give it some time. Let's let, let, let's let the next group train and maybe try to get a little bit more oil as well. Let's see. Refinery. We'll build you right here. Two refineries, which will give us more fuel. And it's 1937. We, can, we still have time to build even more civilian factories because once you're in war... There's no time to build. I mean, there's still time to build, but not not as well. Just not as well. Uh, let's see. Improved airplane catapults. Great. Great, great, great. This coffee's getting cold. Ooh. 82 days for death charge. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I need better sub stuff. Awesome. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, good. Focus is done. We got six more military factories and no longer get the effects of trade union factory demands. We actually have better output because we didn't see those factory demands actually hurt our output by like 7 to 14 to even 20%, which is quite a bit. So with that in mind, all this stuff can really be kind of ignored at the moment. Air defense, radar, tizzard mission we can't do because we have to be... Uh, I think we have to be with the United States in a, in a war against somebody, in a faction, so that's not going to happen. Mm. As much as I want to do this, we're going to go towards Dominion Independence. We want our Dominions to like us a little bit better. And we'll get political power and manpower from that, so. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, we can get another military factory. Uh, 154 days. Up, oh, and there goes Republican Spain. That is not good. That's another fascist power in Europe. Uh, but France is still going alone. They haven't found any new allies. The Czechs have allied with the Yugoslavians. I mean, we still have the allies. Wait. Communist China, you're in your own faction? Low popular support. It is the mutual assistance block. Yet, there's no one else helping them around. Well, okay then. Well, regardless, I think this episode's gone on long enough. I'm trying to, you know, make it not go on too extra long like the past couple, a lot of videos have. But regardless, we're going to end it here. So guys, thank you very much for watching. We are still trying to become more and more communist every single day as the world looks like it's getting wackier and wackier. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow and answer all your comments just like I have. Have a great day.